Hey everyone, thank you for joining lesson seven of our uh, enterprise implementation end to end. So uh, in this particular lesson, we are going to uh, focus on table fields. And I want to really dive into our custom job table and focus on the creation of uh, attributes in that table, attributes or fields in the table. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and expand our tables and within our solution here and let's expand the job table and let's go to columns and so let's take a look and analyze at our uh, table uh, what we have so far we have our job title which is our primary name column so far that we customized to be job title so that's the name of the role that our candidates will be applying for and then uh, we also have the associated company lookup or the account that we'll be storing in our database. That's the company that's going to be hiring for that job. So that's uh, associated to this job title. And then the other columns in this uh, table are all out of the box, like status or owner modified by created on. So we're going to need quite a few other columns here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to create a job description column here. And that job description will store information about the, like, uh, just base information about the job. And this will be a multiple lines of text column. Let's kind of move me over here. And then I will also then uh, think about other things like uh, what kind of skill set um, do I need? So uh, coding knowledge. This is going to be uh, possibly certain kinds of coding knowledge that the, the job needs. So it's going to be a multi-select option set. We're, we're going to create a couple of these. So uh, this would be a choice. Uh, so let's show this to you here. So it'd be a choice. And we'll, we're going to make it a multi-select option set. So it's a little bit more of a complex type of field. And then we're going to create a um, what we call a global choice. So we'll create a brand new choice. And we'll call this, like I said, coding technologies. And then we'll populate this with some data that is pretty standardized in our industry. So people, uh, when we post these jobs, people will be able to determine which of these technologies or all or none are required for these positions. So we'll save that global option set. It's a multi-select. We'll then choose that down here, which called that coding technologies. And we'll save that as our coding technologies multi-select option set for our jobs table. And then we're gonna create another one called Microsoft Technologies. But um, prior to that, let's create a, an education 
or highest level of education achieved first. So let's switch to something different. Um, this can this will also be a choice field. So let's uh, let's set up a choice field. But it's a little bit different, right? Highest level of education achieved. Or rather, highest level of education desired. Mm. Preferred. Sorry, how about that? Preferred. Yeah. Minimum. Let's try to think like recruiters, right? Recruiters, we're recruiters. So minimum level of education preferred. And then we'll set this up with some values. So let's set some values in this. And this could be different depending on the job, basically. So what we'll do is um, this will only be a single select. And then we'll create a new global option set, which is the standard. So great. Always, always good to create a global option set. That's just best practice, team. Minimum level of education preferred so for the job what is the minimum level of education they prefer and then we can do high school diploma or ged because they're equivalent right i think associates degree bachelor's degree master's degree phd okay We'll save those and then we'll choose that right here as our option. For minimum level of education preferred, save that. And then let's create another one called Microsoft Technologies that they're interested in for these, these roles. These are going to be a bunch of Microsoft consultant roles. So let's go ahead and click on another column for our job table. We can call it preferred Microsoft Technologies. Or maybe let's let's call it desired Microsoft technologies. This will be a choice. This will be a multiple choice selection. This will be a new global choice. And here we go. We'll call this preferred Microsoft technologies <clears throat> so you can see what I'm doing here essentially is I'm just populating this with some key data from our industry but at the end of the day I'm showing you how to build out uh, attributes Building out attributes is 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 very straightforward. The way you build attributes in Power Platform is always the same as what I'm doing right now. The only difference is that 
when you're building a different type of attribute, there's a different uh, requirement in terms of the format. So if you're building a text attribute, you may have to define, uh, say, for example, if you are um, talking about dollars, you may have to define, um, you know, uh, you may have to define it the currency format. Um, if you're talking about, um, you know, a number, you may have to define how many decimals, um, or, or where the decimal goes, um, or how many digits, things like that. So, uh, other than that, everything that we're doing here together is very, very straightforward. So very, I think this is a very useful video to, uh, go through just that standard process of, uh, you know, building out um, your traditional, you know, your traditional table a little bit. So in the next video, we're gonna build um, a couple more fields on some of our other tables, and then we're gonna bring them all together into a form on our account. So it's gonna be really, really cool. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. So this is our last field I think we need to create here. Um, actually, we have one more certification. So we're going to create a certifications field, and then we'll be we'll be done with this job table. But uh, I just want to want to finish this one up, and then we'll go to the next. But keep in mind what we're doing here is we're doing a whole end to end implementation. So what we're we're going to have is the end of this is we're going to have built plugins. We're going to have built Azure. Uh, logic apps, Power Automates, um, JavaScript. I mean, we're just getting into it right now. We are not even close to uh, what you're going to see um, us do together. And I'm really excited because this is the the, big, the most complex series I've ever done on, on YouTube. So I'm really excited uh, for what I have in store for you. So that's... Um, it's one of the things that I'm I'm really excited to have. And for me, it's it's really cool to share this with everyone because I have something to to show you that is really helpful to the you know to the Power Apps community and also well, of course, helpful to to other engineers who are who are, who are, you know, in the same field and, and running into these same types of scenarios, really, at the end of the day. Um, and uh, sometimes need some help and, and they, they're, they're digging around Google and, and I can't find uh, uh, solutions, right? So I think it is, I, I really hope if I can help at least one person, it makes me, makes my day, really, so. Let's sync our choice then here with our, our new um, my preferred Microsoft technologies or desired, I think it was. Maybe I called it preferred, but that's okay. Yeah, preferred Microsoft technologies will go under desired Microsoft technologies. That's fine. Okay, and then the last one is going to be certifications. And this will be a choice field as well. Selecting multiple choices is allowed. And we're going to create a new choice. And let's actually, let's take a step back here. Certifications desired. And then, yeah, so sometimes certain jobs require specific certifications. So let's, let's set this up here.
get some data. Some of these um, these certification names are so long, right? for now. All right. Thank you so much for joining me on this long video on us creating attributes, but this is very useful for us to set up our jobs table. So now we have critical information that we can do as a recruiter when we're setting up our jobs in our database um, for the companies that we're working against. So uh, uh, in this system, we're going to be able to create the jobs put the information that we need for our jobs in the um, table that we need <clears throat> and then expose those jobs online so that we can um, um, uh, provide them to the candidates that are searching online and uh, get all that connected later in our project. So it's going to be really interesting to get all that connected. In our next video, we are going to uh, expand on the rest of our tables and then connect everything together into a form that makes everything holistically um, available in one, one, one form so that we can see everything tied together. And then uh, now we're, then we're gonna start connecting things and automating and making this visible on the web so that we can start to have a, um, the ability for things to, uh, for an applicant to uh, get in. So we're gonna probably need an application table so uh, we're getting we're getting into things that require integration and code thank you very much for joining us and uh, i'm very excited for what's coming thank you of course let me choose this <laughs> i don't know why i don't i'm so silly i don't choose the darn certification thing there Thanks, everyone. <laughs>